Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. so. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and guys, please, if you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button. Let's get started. So, first of all, a big thanks to all of you guys for your support, for adding comments, likes, and sharing the video. Please keep them coming to keep the channel growing. As usual, we're gonna start with the Dixie. We are looking at the weekly time frame, and as you see, the, the Dixie been uh, bullish last week. Not a very big momentum, but we've got a nice bullish uh, weekly candle here coming from the 92, which we knew it's gonna be a good uh, support level. Looking left, we, we've been trading this level for a while, been tested many times, as you see. So, nice bounce at that 92. Checking the daily time frame. What's important here for the bulls that we've got a higher low getting established here so that is um, a key move in my opinion because a higher low could mean you might continue for one more leg to the upside on this market especially with uh, these uh, rejections here you see the wicks coming from below and that it never broke and closed below this structure on the daily if we go down to the four hour time frame we see guys uh, how those reactions uh, rejections came from that level and we look uh, back and see that we've had a higher low higher high and now yet another higher low got established here so in my opinion next target next normal target gonna be the 9280 9285 up here on the dollar and for further upside we need to see the dollar breaking above these structures here this level gonna be a key area and if we see the dollar breaking above that and holding above that giving us yet another higher low down below here that could be a signal that we might continue higher to this uh, to this next area of interest either this high or if we look further left we check this area here as a potential target so that's what i'm expecting on this market but again they need to break above that um above that uh, previous high for that continuation to the upside gold bearish last week so if we uh, let's go to the weekly time frame actually we see that uh, gold um, never broke above previous high it had trouble to break above it the the week before was a spinning top indecision candle which we had the same here these candles and then we've got the rejection so so last week we've got a nice bearish engulfing candle to the downside a huge um, uh, divergent uh, sorry not this one a huge um, hidden divergence on the rsi as well which as you see it was higher here but equal highs on the price going down to the daily time frame we see what was the level that gave uh, this market the big troubles and that was this double top here or maybe triple top as well and um, got rejected all the way down now sitting back at a potential support area we need to go down to the four hour time frame to see what's going on here so it's pretty simple stuff here guys if we see uh, gold breaking below this structure i'm thinking that we are at least gonna uh, see a retest uh, of the 1755 to 1750 area and we know what's happening after that so if this also got broken as you see it's totally empty here it's gonna be a, a a a waterfall once again in my opinion so not looking good for the bulls at the moment especially after this impulse we have a consolidation or a correction move and we might get yet another leg to the downside because this is mostly what happened all the time you get an impulse you get the correction and you get the second impulse um, on the market so these are most of the time uh, the move that you expect from the market so any break below this support that would mean a move back down here to this area now if they fail to move lower then that's also an easy task because any failure here and bullish evidence that would mean we are reversing back down sorry back up toward 18 uh, 30 uh, 31 area 
EURUSD also um, a, a bearish week after a retest of this previous high here never broke above it we knew that this area gonna be a level of interest that's why it was marked on the chart going down to the daily time frame we see that after this um, shooting star formation uh, things start to slow down we start getting bearish candle we saw the market breaking out of this uh, bullish uh, channel and if we go down to the four hour time frame, we see that we've had a lower high here, a break, a correction, and yet another move. There was an attempt to move higher on Friday that failed totally and the market uh, did collapse back down all the way going back, back to this support. So for next week, early next week, any break below these structures, that would mean that we will see continuation to the downside. First target gonna be this area down here. And of course the second target and the bigger target is a move all the way down to this previous swing low. So keep an eye on that uh, for next week. If they break below this structure again, as I said, this will uh, signal further downside. Otherwise it might be support and keep an eye on this target if this breaks if we check left here this area back here been acting as nice support and resistance a couple of times in the past so that could be also a level of trouble or your uh, first target if you play it bearish now if it's not bearish then you need to see clear clear signals here do not go for one candle bullish candle here and think this will go all the way up because um, if we check what happened here lately we've got a nice bullish candle we've got a break higher which end up to be a fake out and the market did push back down so checking the momentum right now if we compare these here with these here the momentum shifted we've had many long strong bullish candle on the way up and now we've getting many long strong bearish candle on the way down which could mean that the bears are taking over so be careful here for me i'm looking to short this market especially if they break lower i am short already but i will add more if they uh, go lower here on um, a break of this structure at our, around the 1.18 area Sterling also uh, did reach a nice level of interest. So the Sterling had a nice uh, bullish uh, move here to the upside to then seeing it breaking out of the channel, finding a little bit of a support and then the market start pushing higher. But there was never a break above previous high. So this is a failed new high and a printed a shooting star uh, candle on the daily time frame going to lower time frame we see what happened here and why checking here the double top here got rejected here and it got rejected on friday so as for now we may end up going sideways consolidation in this range here so each time they fail to break higher here i'm looking to short this market back down to the bottom of the range and of course for further downside they need to break below this level to then start looking for a retest of this area so it is time to add another level here in case the break happens then we might start looking for targeting this down here in case they break this level um, below this area okay so for more upside it is very clear and simple guys of course the resistance here need to be taken out and if they do then next target gonna be this previous structure that's also another resistance level that you need to keep an eye at as you see here a couple of times got rejected strongly from this area even here all the way down so if they manage to break higher like this you might uh, still see trouble at this area here from the bears defending that level for me i'm looking to short this market furthermore if they break below got a trade up here but a small one because i'm not i was not sure if this will uh, <coughs> hold or not based on the nice bullish uh, momentum we've had here so it was a small trade i will check what will happen uh, during next week if we after this impulse for example get uh, some kind of a correction like this and breaks the flag then i might add here targeting 1.3740 area this gonna be my first um, attempt on this market after uh, <coughs> the, sh the short trade i had here 
USD Jappy, nothing new here, still going sideways consolidation in this um, ranging uh, zone here. Um, nice bearish candle, but also we've had a nice bullish candle before. Ended up um, getting rejected, rejected with a doji candle. So all in all, even if this market will break below this um, support here, the next structure of trouble gonna be down below. So this is the bigger range on this market. Okay, this is the bigger range, and right now we're getting a inside range that just uh, bouncing around a ping pong play you see that better on the four hour time frame and we should keep playing this range for now until we have a break out of it uh, just keep it simple guys each time you reach the top you need to be a seller and on the bottom we need to be buyers waiting for this range to break out it is still being going sideways since back here okay and the level to the downside is the still still the same the only thing that happened we've got um the first range was this here got fake out a couple of time that's why i changed that to this range now and that is the range that we are playing at the moment usd chief also consolidation nothing um new here still going inside uh, yet another range this range here on the daily time frame nothing new on this one also a bit boring maybe if you are a trend trader but for a for an intraday trader this is heaven because all you need to do is sell the top by the bottom taking profit at the top again and selling the top taking profit at the bottom waiting for a break uh, break out of this range and even if the breakout happen i need you to be careful especially a break out to the upside we could meet some trouble here at the top of this look how quickly this market moved down after the retest of this level or after the touch of that level so we will extend this in case we have a breakout so to to keep an eye on this here um, but if they break to the downside, we have a little bit further room to the downside toward this. So this could give you a trade, actually, if the break happened to the downside. <clears throat> there is a room for you to to be in the trade, to have a little bit of a target more than the one to the upside. Now for total continuation on this, we've had the impulse. We still need the break out above this previous high. If that would be the case, then of course, we will start looking to target this stop here. But as for now, we are still in this tiny range down here. Nothing has changed, so keep playing that range for now. USDCAD also been a little bit of a tricky market, but if you look at it, on the daily time frame for one more time checking the 200 moving average checking all the levels you see that this market been trading trending nicely to the upside then another attempt they failed to break higher but the correction or the rejection never broke previous structure this is the most important swing in my opinion that never got broken the market went back down to the 200 moving average on the daily found support at that pushed higher and then correction and an attempt for a continuation so if we go down to the four hour time frame the uh, structure that we need to keep an eye for next week is this here we need to see this broken for that continuation to the upside so all in all if this market goes back down here next week i will look for a bounce from this level once again because it's been acting as a nice flip zone for both support and resistance guys so keep it simple any retest toward this level that fails to break lower look for a bounce back up maybe to target this previous structure up here Aussie USD also um, went back <coughs> inside this old range after a breakout to the upside. So Aussie, the first break was a huge move to the downside to then go all the way back up. A brief break above previous high to then get back inside the range. So it is now playing back inside the old range. And the most interesting thing here that after this impulse, we've got a correction that seems to be over and then a continuation which means we have yet another lower high so we had this lower high we have this lower high now and we might still see continuation to the downside so for next week 
if they break below this structure i'm looking for continuation especially a break below this which was the old range bottom if that would be the case then it is in my opinion game over and we might see a retest of this bottom all the way down here on this market so it's gonna be very very interesting to see how it will play out especially with the 200 moving average down here on the four hour and the bottom of this old range uh, new zealand usd looking a little bit better but as you see here once again broke above the 200 moving average failed to hold above it went back below and after that we've got one two three attempts to push higher especially on friday this was a huge attempt here and got rejected all the way back down so this is a warning flag again fake out here seems to be a fake out here so if they this is a little bit late um, aussie is already in the old range as you see here inside the old range it is almost the same structure and uh, new zealand still not there so maybe it is lagging and since aussie done the first move we might expect new zealand to do the same for next week so i'm going down to the four hour time frame and what i'm looking for here especially after this failure at the monthly r1 what i'm looking for to see if this uh, market will break below that structure if they break below previous low enter inside the range i'm looking for a retest and i collapse all the way down to the old bottom here down here on this market to move all the way down to the bottom of the range so that's my plan on this one and that's what i'm looking for but first i want to see this broken to then make that move and um, yeah that is it for new zealand usd oil um, and the last market on this video um, been um, going sideways for a while now checking the weekly time frame after this nice bullish engulfing we ended up with two slow weeks which means consolidation uh, oil being crazy inside this range especially if you check that on the one hour time frame so why i'm not marking this level up here because it is the 70 here and good psychological level and if we look left that 70 been tested many times as both support and resistance now if we go down to the one hour time frame you see why i'm saying it been crazy as you see here uh, these moves first attempt here to break higher failed totally all the way down in two hours to then go back up in two hours and go back down in three hour candles to then get stuck here never managed to break lower and boom all the way back up to then start seeing this making this little rotation with a divergence on the rsi which could mean uh, another move to the downside is to come so as far as they keep failing to break higher here i am looking for maybe one more leg to the downside could be that this consolidation will keep going so nothing new here on oil as i said it is in a consolidation phase keep playing that until we have um, some kind of a breakout you see how it went strong to the upside and then start slowing down rotating and we might end up seeing something like this coming next week so keep an eye on this stop here and this bottom keep playing those bounces from these areas until we have the break out of this range on this market and that will be the end of this video thanks a lot guys see you next sunday bye bye